The Dean Blundell Show. On the edge. Joining us on the telephone from the Westboro Baptist Church, I think Jonathan Phelps. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Um, you guys obviously have had our, um, an interesting couple of days from announcing that uh, you would do the unthinkable and head to the um, uh, funerals of those uh, 26 people that unfortunately passed away uh, during the, um, the events of last Friday. Uh, now, your website was shut down, or you, all of your personal information was leaked by the, the group Anonymous, and uh, I had a nice conversation with one of those guys on Friday night, so that was interesting. Uh, now, it, are, do I, am I to understand correctly that, that you, you won't be deterred? There's nothing anybody can do to get you to stop? It is the very uh, living definition of love thy neighbor for us to go down there to, over there to Connecticut and tell them about what God requires of them and what God has done to him. How do you figure? How do you figure that's the very definition of love thy neighbor to go to a funeral for uh, children? Well, of course, dying time is truth time. And uh, God who... Who uh, says that? Breath, who says dying time is truth time? <laughs> uh, we say it. Oh, well, then it means oh, well, something, right, if you guys say it. Must it must be of God. And God who holds the breath of life in his hands has given clear direction as, as to how humans or to behave themselves. So can I ask you a quick question, declared, Jonathan? He's de- no. Oh. He's declared eternal hatred. How long do we have you on the phone for until you get pissed off or you decide you're done talking? Same-sex marriage. Mm-hmm. He's, he's declared eternal enmity and hatred. He has destroyed worlds for it. Mm-hmm. This well, world, he, he, fact, just, just, they, just, so, they, just so we're on the same page, just so we're on the same page, any God uh, that chooses to uh, eliminate innocent young children in, in human lives is not a God. Like, I don't think you understand. If, if you're going there to get people to, uh, to, to side with you or to turn people on to Jesus Christ, um, this isn't probably the way to do it, number one, because if there is a God that allows that kind of stuff, he can suck it, too. Well, you know, it says in the book of Revelation... That God can suck it if he allows this kind of stuff to happen. That's what it says in the book of Dean 2.13. It says he has the keys to death and hell on his belt. That means implicitly that he, in fact, was the one uh, that took those children. And uh, Well, then he's an asshole, too, right? Is that that the case? God's an a-hole, too, if that's the case. Your God is an a-hole, the the one that you believe in. If he if he if he demeans if he uses this as a way to teach a lesson, then your God is an a-hole. Pardon? He's giving you what the case is that he's giving you seventy years of probation to see whether you will obey or not. When this yeah. happened to Job, right. Job. All right, all right, all right, all right. We don't we don't need yeah, the yeah, study yeah. of apologetics because when, no, yeah. when, 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 when it comes to when it when it comes to the Bible, sir, I think I, I got you covered. So let's not go there. Why don't we do Job this? Chapter one. It says. The Lord is given, and the Lord is, is taken this, away. Is, is Job? The this is the, the Lord. This is the guy that was filled with sores. His entire family died. Is that that guy? Yeah. Who's God's will? Yeah, I understand what you're saying, sir. You're not telling me no, anything what he new. Said was what his reaction was, what the human reaction in him was, that the Lord is given and the Lord is taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Aren't you, aren't you scared that if you show up to this God. thing, someone is going to kick your ever loving arse? No, you're not, huh? No. So if God, if someone chooses to show up there and do you a number, uh, that that's God's will as well, or are they getting well, in the way because, of God's will? Because He predestinates all things. Okay, so if you get then so, that would be so, let's say you and your family suffer some terrible tragedy because you chose to go and do one of the stupidest things ever. And, and, and do, do you do you then celebrate the fact that someone someone in your family gets uh, is, is dead or or hurt because of what you choose to do? And these kids didn't Lord, do anything, keep that in mind. But you're going to go Lord down there out of ignorance. And then the, you're, the you're telling me given. that it's, it's part of God's plan if one of your family members gets hurt, hit, killed or hurt. Is that correct? The Lord is given and the Lord is taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That's our answer. Dude, for, it with, doesn't make uh, any sense, though. So. Put the Lord aside, okay? Well, we can't. Yeah, no, but for one second, uh-huh. do you have any sort of empathy at any point right now for what the families are going through who lost these beautiful little children? Do you have any of that? And to exploit a message, whether it, everyone knows it's wrong, but whether you think it's right or not, do you not? Do you have any humanity, yeah. my friend's asking? Do you have any uh, humanity at all? There's 311 Americans who all have an opinion on this matter, and you're not asking them that question. 
the answer to my question is... 311, what's the 311 Americans? That, um, what's that? The million? What's the 311? 311 million Americans oh. in this country. Oh, 311 oh. million. Oh, you yeah. forgot the million part. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm just concerned because uh, 311 million minus the 12 kooky bastards like yourself uh, seem to completely understand the humanity in it. Of course, you know, bastards is a good Bible word. And what it means is that you don't have any discipline from the Lord, and when He comes to discipline you, you cuss Him. That makes you the bastard. And no, I'm no, no. Client. The definition of bastard is I'm a fatherless definitely. child. I have a dad, sir. I, unfortunately, well, I don't think you do, though. Are you the bastard he, child Hebrews of Shirley 12, or not? Hebrews 12 defines sir, what a bastard Sir, are you the bastard child of Shirley or not? Because you clearly do understand that that, that It means term. you're undisciplined. That means yeah, when your is. father applies Shirley porked some dude you, before she got married to this guy. You refuse the discipline. You despise the discipline. The Why Lord can't we have Christ someone on the phone that actually talks as opposed to just reads Bible verses? Because you're not making any sense. It's not even Bible well, verses. It's just that's rhetoric. because you've checked your brain at the door. Oh, you that's, you're just repeating what, you're, your you're repeating what your mom said before she shacked up with your illegitimate father, sir. Listen... If you're going to do us all a favor and go down there, uh, I you're you're going to get hurt. Well, is that is that a promise? I I hope so. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what the Bible says about that. <laughs> he causes the wrath of man to praise him, yeah. and the remainder he restraineth. There's your answer. Well, I don't think we empty, don't put ths behind breath, words anymore, John. Your answer. We don't God, put ths behind God words. Has control of you, Jonathan. <laughs> Don't have any fear of that at all. Okay, so uh, let me ask you something. What is it? What is it that we could do? What is it? A God hater. No, I'm not. If if, about God haters, I'm I'm your God hater. Whatever God you say you serve, I hate that guy. The one that God hates your feelings, and you're going to hell, and God hates uh, the gay word, the the derogatory term for gay word. That God, do you hate that God? Yeah, I I hate that guy. He's a real he's a real a hole. I said that earlier. Anyway, so uh, what? What? what, Whatever. I'll see you there, prick. So what? (laughs) What's the uh, what's the difference then? How can we? Because the last time we talked with your mom, she's the mover and the shaker. She's the one that makes the decisions. You don't. You're just a mouthpiece. My, so my, how can we put my mother? My mother is 89 years old. You oh, you're the you're the Mar- you're 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 Shirley's brother. Yeah, it's like the Fredo. You're right. He's yeah, like the he's, Fredo, he's the of, the, Fredo the, of the Corleone Phelps family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's at doofus. No one likes. Time to go uh, fishing, Fredo. <laughs> so no, my name is my name is John. Okay, Fredo. Oh, oh, oh. So what? So who's making the decisions here? Because I, I'm willing to make you guys an offer like I did with your mom with the Arizona shootings, or your, your sister. sister yeah. So I, I'm willing to make you an offer uh, that, that in, in return for you staying away from there. And it's a good offer. But I want to talk well, to someone that can make a decision, and clearly after listening to you, it ain't you. Well, then you find that person. Well, you, then put you, me on the phone with them. You, yep. Can you, you know not the, be a puppet you know, and pass this to you someone? Know the public, you, you know the public information officer. That's how you set up this interview. No, no. We just have your, your sister's phone numbers. We've talked to you guys for many years. Here's what I would like. I would like you to put me on the phone with whoever books or cancels plane tickets in, on behalf of your family and whoever makes those decisions. And I will make you an offer and we'll see what we can do. Maybe we can do some business together that keeps your sorry selves away from Sandy Hook, Connecticut. You, you send an email to the web page. No, I'm not sending. You're, I'm on the phone with you. Why don't you just go down the hallway in your concubine of moronicness and get one of your sisters? Because clearly you're not a decision maker. Is that correct? Or have we gotten to the part of the interview where you push out and hang up? I think you're stumping him. Yeah. Confusing him. I do. I have an offer for you that your sister. No, I have an offer for you. I have an offer for you that your sister and your family will not turn down. It's an you opportunity to get your to the, message out. It's an opportunity to get your you warped message out. Officer. No, you it's not. You're not. A, you don't have officer. a public information officer. We you just have. got some doofus. You want to contact information or not? I, uh, dude, I have. I, I had all your family's. I had all your family's information it's not posted. A family member. It's not a family member. It's a church member, but he's not a family member. Okay. If you want that information, I'll give it to you. I want. Your, I'm not going to give it here. I want your sister's information. I want Shirley on the phone. She's the one that makes decisions. I want to talk to her. I She's have an offer for you. Decisions. Pardon? She's not the one that makes the decisions, and I'll give you the information of the public you. information officer. You guys have a public information want. officer. That's correct. Okay. What I want is someone that makes a decision. I don't want a public information officer. Who is that? That's is that the, that's the person who Steve? That's the person who discusses any of that information with the church membership. Okay. Makes a decision 
Majority rules. Okay, majority rules. So here's what I'm going to do. When do you guys plan on leaving on your cavalcade of stupidity? Today, tomorrow, when? We're going to be preaching peace uh, on the streets every day um, for the end. In- for the indefinite future. Why don't you just answer the question? When, when do you plan on going to Sandy Hook? Not answering that question. Why? Because you're a big baby or because you don't have that information or because you haven't booked your ticket yet? Because here's what I think. I think you've piggybacked on all that information. I don't think you, think you plan on going. What, what you think doesn't matter. Of course it does because I'm the only person here God, making sense. And what God has said is you're that a douche. he will destroy any society that goes the way of Sodom and Gomorrah. And it says that from the first of the Bible to the last of the Bible. And that's a reality that you guys can't do, deal with. Oh, God, this guy is like, he's like, he's like a poor man's version of Shirley. Um, okay, so what we we'll trying. Do, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's trying, <laughs> ain't he? Yeah. yeah. Why can't yeah. you like be more like, like Shirley? Why can't handicap brother? <laughs> <laughs> Here, send him those guys. So he, why don't we do this? I'll, I'll put you on hold. We'll get back to you, and we'll get this officer's information. How does that sound? How does that grab you? John, you I there? Switching you to, I was switching you to speaker, speaker phone. Mode. Yeah. What, oh. was, what was that last question you asked? The last question I said, I said, how about this? I put you on hold. I get your, uh, your public information officer's information. And then we, we offer them some type of deal where they show some restraint and don't show up to this thing. How about that? Your radio program. Well, That's, you just got to say, yeah, man, hold just say on yes for or sure. No. Yeah. yeah. I just, I, all I want to do is talk to a decision maker, not you. So will you do that for me? And then I'll no. make you guys, a, no? I'm not going to let you, the decision maker you want to speak to isn't available by phone, my phone anyway. Okay. Well, what I'm saying is I'm going to get there. This guy is, all, I swear to God, dumb as a rock. <laughs> so here, I'm going to ask you for the decision maker's information. We will call them off the radio and then... Clearly nothing to do with you. Uh, and then we will offer them uh, some type of deal to encourage them to stay away from the funerals. How does that sound? Lots of luck. Lots of luck? That's right. That's the first original thing you've said. And well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so lots of luck getting the number, or are we just going to continue to dance, uh, uh, dance like this verbally? Well, will you give, Will you give me that information? I will. Okay. okay. And maybe you, you can be a messenger, too, towards those people as well. Yeah, tell them that there's an offer. We have us. a wonderful offer for you uh, that might be able to uh, see you guys are trying to garner, uh, you know, attention. And we're happy to give you the attention if you do stay more way 10, 20, a million times more attention. As long as you take it away from directly to, for those who are affected. So pass that along and we'll put you on hold and I'll get their information. Please don't hang up. Okay. Hello. Hello. He's still trying to figure out. Hello. Yeah, he's trying to figure out. Hello. Hey, can you please? Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. 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 He's so dumb. He can't work speakerphone. <laughs> dude, dude. It's one button. Dude. Put you on hold. Hang on. Dude, God, it's not Bluetooth. <laughs> 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 so coming up. <laughs> That was everything I hoped. I know, me too. <laughs> yeah. That just goes, they're not going. They're no. too stupid to go. <laughs> if he's got anything to do with it, they are too dumb to go. Imagine uh, this guy booking a flight on Expedia. He'll, yeah, yeah, no. no he'll end up in India before he ends up <laughs> yeah. in Connecticut. Dean Blundell so. This is going to scar me for life and it's going to haunt me forever. Even at an old age. 102.1. I don't know how you put up with it. The Edge. Okay, I want to get